The very night of the FCC's vote, we organized a school-wide walkout for the <coughs> following day. We estimate that at least one-third of our school would have joined the demonstration. However, our efforts were dampened by school administrators who threatened us with suspension. Nevertheless, we negotiated with the administration to organize a school-sanctioned protest. As middle school students, our opinions regarding net neutrality reflect those of the majority of Americans. What individuals would be interested in having their liberties ripped away from them? It is unacceptable and indecent that just a few members of the FCC could go against the will of millions of Americans. Um, all students use the internet as a resource to aid them in their studies. A slow internet could also affect teachers who use the network as a tool to help educate students. Blocking or thwarting websites could prevent students from attending online courses. Failing to reinstate net neutrality will drive out small businesses, limit freedom of speech, obstruct accessibility, and hinder education. The internet is where I learn. Because I'm legally blind, I can't just go to the library and grab a book to read. I purchase all of my books online. The internet is the perfect tool for anyone with a visual impairment. The looming possibility of corporate regulation makes me nervous. With my, will my school be able to afford to get my book textbooks online? Will I be able to access them? For anyone with a visual disability, the loss of net neutrality is a nightmare. My and many others' education is on the line. My disability has never stopped me in the past, but this could be a horrifying step back. It should make you nervous that ISPs now have the ability to shift the nation's opin general opinion on something, anything. It should make you uncomfortable that one self-serving company now has the power to sway an election. Everyone in this room is unknowingly gullible. If an ISP slows down a particular news outlet, we are all less likely to frequent it. Even if the company is honest, half of us probably wouldn't look into their biased behavior. Companies were designed to make money, not to be concerned with your freedom. Freedom is a buzzword in a cheesy infomercial. The idea that we now have internet freedom is laughable to the hundreds of kids at my school. I hope that the adults in this room will be smarter too and vote. I'd like to thank everyone for giving us the opportunity to be heard. When kids get involved, you know someone really screwed up. Thank you all for your time, and please vote yes on House Bill 4155. I'm prepared to answer any questions you may have.